In this video, I'll be showing how to configure global settings that will apply to your entire score. This isn't something you have to use, but I think you'll find as your scores get to be larger and more complicated, you'll most likely want to use this. The way that I like to configure score-wide settings is by using a global block at the top of my input file. In the global block, you can put things like custom markups or overrides, time and key signatures, and a whole lot more. By using a global block, it saves you from having to manually add this information each and every time you need it for every instrument in your entire score. Let's begin with our version statement. Next, we'll make a header block. Now let's create the global block and just add a few simple commands. Now I'm going to create some variables. In the first variable, let's just create a simple two-measure melody. For the second variable, I'll do the same thing. In order to apply the global block, to our variables, which will essentially be actual instrument names once we're working on a real score, you have to put the global command right before the beginning of the music, like this. Now what do you think will happen when we go to engrave this score? Let's find out. You'll notice that the log file shows no errors, but nothing happened. We have no score. This is because all we've done so far is define our variables and assign some music to them. We actually haven't told LilyPond to do anything with our variables. In order to show our music, we have to tell LilyPond to display the variables. Remember, that we have to use the double angle brackets to ensure that our variables, or our instruments, occur simultaneously. Now, when we hit the engrave button, look what happens. The global block is really helpful when you have to make score-wide changes and you want to avoid having to go through every instrument, every instance, and change everything manually throughout your whole score. For example, if you want to change some custom markup or set an override, you can do it from the global block and it will cascade down into all of the individual instances of the global command. As a simple example, let's change the key now to E minor. We can do this using the global block.
So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Starting with the next video, we're going to really dive into the meat and potatoes of Lily Pond and start talking about the score block in much greater detail. We're going to work on a full score from start to finish, and when we're done, I'll show you how to get parts out of your full score. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.